Alright guys, so uh, in this particular video we've just got a little bit of the final part of our training session today uh, which is a, just a little bit of light pad work. So this is working a bit of speed, a little bit of technique. It's a bit different to uh, bag work. Uh, it doesn't hurt the fists so much. So there's a request of the lady that we do some pad work because she was hurting her fists even with the gloves. But you can see nice, very clean, precise punches. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to st simulate again and again and again real life fighting situations. There's no point throwing a punch without considering what are the consequences of that punch and of course every time you throw a punch or attack a, your, your opponent you are opening yourself um, for retaliation so you'll notice I will be coming back with the pads and trying to strike the uh, uh, the person attacking me um, uh, to just point out to them uh, the weaknesses in their defense and that's a lovely advert for a particular brand of water that my training partner put in front of the goddamn camera but there we go um, so now I'm trying to teach her uppercuts at the moment she's hitting from too, too far distance and so what I'm saying listen you'll see me in a minute I'll, I'll go that the uppercut is a close range punch it's for when the jab across it's uh, too close uh, to throw them effectively so bang you step into it as you can see there you kind of bob and weave and step into it use the body weight behind the punch to close the distance you just look wrong there but let's try again and then what of course what we'll show after this is that not only do you consider when you throw a punch where you're opening but you throw when you throw a punch or throw an attack what can you do with that attack afterwards okay so you come into your right hand bang you can come back straight with your left which I just showed there to her so I wanted to show uh, that attacks should flow they should flow off one another they should feed one another and by changing the position of your body you you know if you throw a right cross that means that it's so much easier to throw a left hook or a, you know a left body blow or, or something along those something from the left side becomes a lot easier but throwing a right roundhouse kick very very difficult when you've just thrown a right punch so it's all about communicating with your body feeling your balance and predicting that if I throw that I will not be able to do this instead now I've removed that little advert out of the way god damn it <laughs> anyway and here we have actually what I'm very impressed looking back at this it's nice to see it from a third person perspective and rather than behind the pads because obviously I've got to keep my eyes open make sure I don't get clipped here and watch their defenses but from a third person perspective he's actually doing quite well here he's flailing a little bit and all the rest of it he's got again a little bit too much adrenaline we'll calm him down over the next few months but this guy could be some serious serious contender when it comes to striking with fists a very very good natural boxer um, as a I say we just need to calm him down and let him use that adrenaline in a uh, much more uh, sort of uh, slow release so to say rather than a big uh, um, burst but there we go thanks for tuning in guys see you soon